Hi! After our visit to the Nahuku aka Thurston Lava Tube, we headed to a different area outside of the park's entrance station to hike Kipuka Pua Ulu Truck. This area is a fertile oasis. The Kipuka is supported by more than 10 feet of rich nutrient and moisture soil. Kipuka Pua Ulu was a special habitat to the Hawaiians, where much of its biodiverse life was believed to be brought up by the Wa'akua, the sacred realm of gods, and Amakua, its guardian ancestors. As always, make sure you brush and um, disinfect your shoes, just because we're in the native Ulu, I see a bird. This hike is actually 1.5 mile. It's just a, a loop and it's just going through the forest already. We see a lot of um, apapani, I think. Oh, there's there's one in the sky. I don't know if you see it. So just, just at this trailhead, we've seen like at least half a dozen just perching at the edges of these kola trees and the, this low bush here look like. But we're only just at the beginning and it's like a bird heaven right now. I'm always mind boggled whenever we're here in Big Island. I mean, I get it. Everything is big here. But look at these coal leaves. Look how huge the leaves are. Eric pointed out this huge tree and it's called Manele. It's endemic to over here. Yeah. So on this trail, we'll see a bunch of this plant, Papala Kipau, and this is what the Hawaiians use to get the birds to use their feathers for clothes, cloaks and stuff. Another tree that appeared a lot in this forest was mamaki. The leaves are very thin, papery, and light green. Many people use mamaki for tea and medicine. In fact, mamaki tea is my favorite to drink on a cold day or when I feel ill. So far, no successful up-close bird shots while on the trail. There is this apapani though that crows and it's following me. But the, the trail, it's so dense, like it's so hard to see the birds even though you hear them everywhere. The show is beautiful, full of native flora. Um, you hear the birds, but I've been seeing a lot more Megidos, the white ring bird, and um, Eric also been seeing cardinals. But here and there we would see Apapani high, per high perched up on the trees. But I think we have a better chance of seeing native birds right at the trailhead. So. But overall, this is such a beautiful trail, full of mamaki and the um, papala kipau, lots of uh, hapu'u fern. But it's, it's still an enjoyable walk, very peaceful and uh, easy to do. Check out how the koa leaf or phyllo is formed. It first starts out as these tiny leaves and then compounds itself into the sickle shaped leaf. Kipuka Pua Ulu is full of life. This walk not only reveals the natural beauty surrounding, but a passage through time where every sight and sound deepens your connection to the enchanting story between the Aina, its trees, its birds, and the native flora and fauna here today. We're able to see a oma'o. Eric was uh, playing the oma'o tweet, the song, and uh, I came by and 
it wasn't the best shot, but at least it was something, it was a great way to end the hike. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Aloha.